Hello, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Today, we're going to be looking at who is thinking about you right now. So we'll see who is coming up, okay, who's thinking about you, fantasizing about you, who this person is, what we can learn about them um, as well. So let's lay out some cards here for you. So if uh, you were after a private reading, please feel free to reach out to me directly. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, um, to sign up to membership if you wanted access to exclusive content on the channel. Otherwise, let's have a look. Okay, I feel like this is a mystery energy straight away. Okay, so we have a... Leo and an Aquarius that have come up in this reading. So a lot of you, you've got an Aquarius and a Leo that is thinking about you right now. Okay, so it's very likely air signs that you know this person that you were once romantically connected to them. So it might have been someone you were recently on a date with. It might have been someone you feel is your twin flame soulmate. Um, it could be someone you were once connected to. Um, I don't think it's like an ex or anything. I think it's someone that you are currently involved with or they were in your recent past somehow, like um, very fresh that you've connected both together. Um, I feel like with the Reverie card, the star reversed, it's like this person right now is somehow hidden away from you. Okay, so maybe they've deactivated their social media. Maybe they're sort of gone off the grid. They haven't really made an appearance in your life. But it's like this mystery person or a mystery energy. Okay, so they are fantasizing about seeing you and connecting with you. Okay, they are picturing you on a date together. This is romance. This is intimacy. You can see that they're both nude here. So this could be someone who's um, sexually fantasizing about you. Okay, they want to get you into bed. They want to have some fun. Um, they think you'd be very... Um, wonderful lover so you know this is that they're they're not hiding that but i feel with the queen of wands it's a more reserved person rather than a really out there kind of forward personality so it's more like this is like the shy person okay they, they're they're thinking about you they've had their eye on you but they're shy um they're not ready to they're not ready to reveal their feelings yet. I feel like this person feels very strongly for you. Seven of Cups is reversed. Now, if it's reversed, it's telling me that their feelings are pretty clear to them. Um, because if it was Seven of Cups upright, I'd be like, okay, they're a bit all over the place. They've got feelings for multiple different people. I don't think this is the case, though. Um, the message I'm getting from this is that... Um, and the message that I'm getting is that this person is really set on you, um, air signs. Two of Wands tells me they don't have options, so they're available. They're single right now. Um, but I keep getting this shyness with the star reversed. Uh, okay. They could also feel like you are out of their league. Okay. You're, you're too good for them. Um, your level of attractiveness, your level of success, your intelligence, um, your outgoing personality, uh, they feel, I reckon they feel that this person is coming across as insecure or they feel insecure. So they don't feel like you're good enough for them. Uh, oh, sorry. They don't feel like they're good enough for you, air signs. Um, that's really interesting. See what else comes up around this person. So it's someone who doesn't have options. They're single. They've thought about you. They're pretty clear on their feelings. The two of chalices makes me think you recently went on a date. You recently met. Um, or it could be someone you're in connection with now. Okay, so you might be in the talking stages. But there are some insecurities that are coming up in the cards. Definitely. You make them very nervous. Um, we've got the moon here, so there's a very strong emotional attachment, or this is a cancer who's thinking about you. It may be someone from your past, okay, so I didn't I didn't want to say an ex because I didn't really think that that came up, but strong past here on this side. So it could be someone from your recent past or even like a distant ex who's thinking about you during this time. They're still attached, um, or regardless, this person like cares about you. 
They want to look after you. They want to provide for you. They want to be your safety net. They want to be your girl. They want to be your guy. This is really beautiful. Um, okay, so we've got, the, you know, this, this motherly energy. Okay, so the moon is intuition or dreams as well so it could be that they're dreaming a lot about you okay you're coming up in their subconscious activities subconsciously they're starting hobbies that they know you'd like they um you know they might be walking away from other connections to pursue you instead they might even be with someone else maybe but it it's not doing enough for them you know they don't they don't gel with them as much emotionally, physically, sexually, the connection is just not the same as what it would be with you. But the Eight of Swords is like they don't see how the two of you are going to sort of get this connection um, going. Okay, this person is like desperate to have you. I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles. They're desperate to have you in their life. So, you know, maybe they're, they'll blow up your phone. They'll do things to impress you. But there's a desperation that comes with it. Maybe if this is an earth sign, a Taurus, Cappy, or Virgo. Um, it can be someone who has children, okay? So this person that's thinking about you can have children, a family. Um, they've got a really good relationship with their mother. They work for charities or justice, you know, law courts and stuff. Uh, the scales of the scale of justice could be someone you've divorced from or you've legally separated with. Uh, also... Could be someone who's quite generous. So it could be younger. Okay, the children could indicate someone younger um, or someone who works with children, has children or wants children with you. It's like a very, very family orientated person who's thinking about you. He, I mean, they could even be thinking about have, having a family with you. Okay, they're imagining what it would be like to have you as their husband or to have you as, as their wife or their partner, um, what you would be like to have a little family with, for example. So, you know, they're thinking about the bigger picture when they think of you. So it makes me feel like it is someone quite serious who wants commitment, who wants those things, who's ready for those things, most importantly. Um, so this is really exciting. I think a lot of you probably know who this person is, or, you know, you've got some idea, hopefully, following this reading. Could also be someone that you sort of were anxious or nervous about. You might have even left them behind as well, he air signs, because of the way you're coming up. So it might be someone you said no to or rejected or sort of um, distanced yourself from as well. I will leave it there though, everyone. So thank you for tuning in, air signs. Um, sending you all my love. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this video. Also to subscribe to the channel and sign up for membership. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be in touch soon. So thank you, everyone, and bye for now.